hi welcome back um thank you for sticking around so let me quickly show you how to uh, cut out a sleeve for an off shoulder uh, blouse so you just uh, you take your paper you measure the round sleeve of your of your client uh, and then you divide it by two and you impute the measurement so i'm going to be using that this paper so the round sleeve is 18 inches 18 inches divided by two is going to give me nine and a half and one an extra one and a half is going to be for my sewing allowance so you measure the place where you want the blouse to stop now this blouse this sleeve is going to be stopping this where you want the sleeve to stop this sleeve is going to be stopping at the elbow area which is 14 inches and um, I'm going to divide by two and it's going to be giving me seven inches. So I've gone ahead and I've imputed it seven inches and I'm going to add one and a half inch for sewing allowance. And I'm going to connect it to the top. So that's it. I'm going to connect it to the top. And that's it. So and I've also added one and a half inch for sewing allowance. I'll, I'll just connect like so. I use the straight ruler and connect. But before I do that, um, so you just place the 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 fabric. You just place the. You can, it could be pattern paper like I'm using. Or if it's the blouse already, just place the side of the armhole on the side of the armhole of the sleeve, just like this on a straight um, um, pattern. And then you remember, and I will measure it. So I will add sewing allowance. So you meet, you allow this sewing allowance meet with the sewing allowance on the blouse. Now uh, on the blouse. Now the pattern paper is the the back side of the blouse so you place it sewing allowance sewing allowance and then you cut out it's going to align by itself so you see you see just like this and you cut out so that's it that's basically all that is to if you cut your sleeve like this on your off shoulder blouse it will fit so perfect so you just cut it out, that's it. And then you trim off for the downside of the sleeve. You trim off, you know our hand, our hand is not the same measurement from up to down. So you measure up and then you measure down. So you just, um, you trim it off. So this new line is now going to be my new line for the sleeve. For the round for the circumference of the sleeve this is my new swing allowance and you just so on is that easy guys so you just this is how you're going to be placing it ah, that's simple you just so now if you want it completely off from the shoulder what you have to do is to go to the top of the sleeve uh, like this let me hold it down so you can understand let me hold it down i'm going to hold it down so uh, just you see you just get, get to that top and then you remove one inch now if you want it to be off the shoulder you remove one inch from the up like that one inch like that and then you curve it back to the next side you see now curve it to the neck you can also remove half and you can even remove more than one it depends so i'm going to be using my curve ruler to curve it and um, that's it you just that's it and then once you have done that you you connect your lines and you cut out so that is it about cutting your sleeve for your off shoulder Bustia, guys, thank you for sticking around. More is coming. Uh, more is coming. I'm going to upload for you the video of how to cut it totally and how to sew it.
Thank you. Okay, guys, please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like, and um, you can even share with your friends. If you have a question, please drop at the comment section, and I'm going to attend to all your questions. Thank you so very much. God bless you. I love you. Please subscribe to support me. And I'm going to upload for you the video of how to cut an off-shoulder blouse and how to sew it. Thank you.